Hey there, welcome to Vizardist's channel. Today, we're diving into a powerful technique in 3ds Max that can revolutionize your architectural visualizations, using the Morpher modifier to create parametric facades. Let's create a double facade using a plane object. Select the edge and press shift to stretch it to the side. Add an edit poly modifier to create segments in both directions. Connect these vertices to remove this part from the facade. Now, let's generate topology. We need to fix these corners. Select all corner vertices and connect them. Then select all faces and clear all to remove the smoothing. Now, select the faces to insert, then remove these faces.
make sure we're selecting all borders. Next, let's use the Morpher modifier. Choose the first slot, press Capture Current State. Ensure we're selecting all borders again, then scale these to make them narrow. Go back to the Morpher modifier. Choose the second slot, press Capture Current State. Now, activate soft selection and choose random vertices. Return to the Morpher modifier and increase the first captured value. We can now see the parametric effect. Using this method, you can make any changes to the facade at any time. The Morpher modifier is a powerful tool for creating parametric designs. Here's why it's valuable. It allows quick creation of multiple facade variations. We can blend between different states for fine-tuned control. It enables efficient switching between design options. It's great for creating unique, dynamic facades. We use the Morpher for window protrusions, balcony recesses, and facade curvature. This technique can also apply to roof shapes overall building forms, interior layouts. Remember, consistent topology across morph targets is key for smooth transitions. By mastering the morpher modifier, you're adding a versatile tool to your architectural visualization toolkit. Keep experimenting to discover more creative possibilities in your designs. Thanks for watching Bizartist's channel.